from the bench installing a Big Tree Tech EBB SB2240 Part 2 configuring the UTC. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. All right, so this is part two, as I mentioned. Um, if you watch part one before, I left you where I had my Octopus Pro was being powered via USB from the Pi over five volts. Um, it had the boot jumper and the five volt jumper installed. I've removed both of those. Um, I have hooked up the Octopus to my 24 volt power supply using the uh, power and ground leads here. And uh, I've turned on my power supply and now the Octopus is powered up. Um, it's connected to the Pi via USB. I can see it if I go into the terminal and repeat that command. It is responding as it did before. So we're ready to go to the next step. So with the, at this point, the main board um, is done and we shouldn't need to make any other changes in firmware flashing to it. Uh, other than maybe, you know, jumpering it for the right hardware. I haven't applied any jumpers to it because I don't have any hardware hooked up to it, and that's fine. Um, but now we're going to focus on our friend, the U2C. So uh, Big Tree Tech um, produces the U2C. Um, this is version 1. Dot, or sorry, 2.1 of the UTC module. Um, here's the back side of it. So it says Big Tree Tech. U2C V21, and um, I paid for this device myself. I, I, they did not send it to me for free. Um, I've used the UTC in a couple of different um, printers, um, and I find I, I like the way that it um, takes the CAN bus away from the primary MCU. Um, so it leaves the primary MCU to do its job, which is driving the motors and, and doing everything else. Uh, so effectively, when you think of the U2C, it is a what's called a CAN adapter. And in, in computer terms, think of it like a network card whose job is to talk on the CAN bus network. Um, and it is a network card that is connected directly to the Pi via USB. And it will, um, it will you know, hold that connection. So it's going to be another device that you can see from the, US, from the, the Pi when you're doing an LSUSB, for example. The, can, the UTC and other CAN adapters do not get CAN boot or clipper flashed to them. They have their own um, special firmware, uh, which I'm going to flash in just a moment. Um, but you do not flash clipper or CAN boot to the U2C device. So something to be aware of. Um, so a little bit about the UTC before we, we get going here. Um, there are some jumper pins on this side. We have um, over here, we have the 120 ohm resistor jumper, which is needed um, on two devices on the CAN bus network. So we have to have resistor jumpers on two devices on the network. Uh, in my case, because I'm going to be setting up the SB2240, um, it's going to get a 120 ohm jumper. Uh, and it's the UTC is also going to get a 120 ohm jumper. As they're the only two devices talking on that CAN bus network, they both need to be jumpered. So I will be adding a jumper to these pins uh, in a bit. Um, these other pins allow you to power via USB uh, and or um, uh, and or uh, do the boot uh, reset the reset it into boot mode as well. So. Um, I lie, sorry, those are for, that's what those are for. These are for the 120 ohm uh, resistors if you're attaching a CAN bus device to one of the USB ports. That's what those pins are for. So um, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be connecting my device via this uh, Molex Microfit connector here. Um, and, but, you know, if you did want to use CAN bus over USB, you can. However, realize that most USB cables are not rated for motion. So if it's a device where there's going to be lots of motion in the wiring, um, you might want to avoid using USB for that connection um, and use one of the Molex connectors. One of the Molex connectors instead. I'm sorry. There we go. Yeah, one of the two Molex connectors on this. Um, 
All right, so for now, what I need to do is power this guy on and get it into boot mode. So again, I'm going to plug it in, and it's lit up, so it has power. And let's go back to our website. And in this case, what we want to do next is look at the, we're done with mainboard flashing. We shouldn't have to come back here. We're going to look at the CAN adapter. And in this case, I do have a Big Tree Tech UTC V21. So that's perfect. So what it's telling us here is the UTC came stock with bad firmware that would cause flashing problems down the line. There is a fixed version of the firmware. Um, and you know, I don't know if mine has the fixed firmware or not flashed from the factory. So I'm just going to flash this firmware as a matter of course. Um, there's more details here on a message thread on ArcSign's CAN boot page uh, if you're interested in digging deeper. Um, it may not be strictly necessary to do this step, but I, it works for me, so I'm just going to do it. Um, if you choose to skip it, then realize that you know, if you have problems down the road, you may need to come back and redo this step. All right, so um, I've got the firmware already downloaded on my Pi. Uh, so I need to basically hold down the boot button So it says to hold down the boot button while plugging it into the Pi. So I'm going to press the boot button. I'm going to carefully plug into the Pi, and I'm going to let go of the boot button. And so what should happen is I should see the device in DFU mode when I go to the Pi. So ls usb in fact um, i see from my previous video you saw that i flashed the um, firmware on the octopus device which is the f446 device i now also see a stm microelectronics device in dfu mode which is the u2c so what do we do next We are in DFU mode. It wants us to confirm that it is by running DFU util, which we can do, but I did just validate that it is. So I'm good. Uh, you can see where it just runs perfect. OK, so now I need to basically copy this command and go back to my Pi. I want to get out of the Clipper directory. And I can see that I've got the file um, that it's looking for already downloaded. I had copied it earlier, knowing that I was going to be creating this video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and paste that command in. Um, it's grabbing the file from the, the home slash pi directory, so the, the user's home directory, uh, which I am in. And that's where the file exists. So we're good. I'm going to hit Enter on this command. And it's going to think about it and start flashing that firmware to the U2C. So again, uh, as we saw in the previous video, um, the important here, the important part here isn't that last error on the last line, but the line immediately above it that says file downloaded successfully. That tells us that the file was transferred to the UTC um, and we should be good to proceed to the next step. If you do get errors during this step, um, stop, drop and roll, go looking on your forums, go looking on your Discord servers and your 3D printing communities, ask for help, ask for advice, research the errors you're seeing, do a Google search. Uh, don't try to push through blindly when you're seeing error messages. It's always best to double check and confirm first. Otherwise, you could end up with an unusable system. So, all right, so let's see what's next.
All right, so it says to once flash to unplug the UTC from the Pi and put it back, plug it back in. So I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to plug it back in without holding the boot key down in this case, because now it won't go into DFU mode by default. It says run an IF config and you should see a CAN0 interface on your, in your networks. So let's go have a look. IF config. Perfect. So what I'm seeing here is that there is a CAN0 network um, because I have at least one CAN device initialized uh, and connected to the network, um, this block appears when I do an IF config. If you had no CAN0 devices or CAN bus devices attached, then you wouldn't see this block when you run IF config. Um, so to illustrate, I'm going to unplug my USB cable. And if I run IF config again, notice how the CAN0 block is gone. If I plug it back in, give it a moment, get it set up, I have config again, CAN0 is back. So the presence of this CAN0 network in IF config tells us that there is a, a network that's available to the system um, that operates on the, the CAN, CAN bus interface. Um, we're not seeing any traffic over it yet because right now we haven't connected two devices that can talk to each other. But at the very least, we've initialized the network and it's ready to go. Going back to our site, um, we've successfully flashed the CAN adapter with the updated um, updated firmware for the CAN adapter. And we're basically done with that step. So you may have a different CAN adapter. Um, for example, MakerBase makes a UTC, the Metal Fly, uh, UTOC board as well. So um, you can look and see whether you know your CAN adapters are in the list. Um, and if not, ask questions, find out, do your research, um, what needs to be done to enable your CAN adapters on your boards. But for my CAN adapter, which is the Big Tree Tech U2C V21, I'm basically done this step of the configuration. Um, so the next step is going to involve um, feeding the UTC with 24 volt power. Um, so like I did, for my um, Big Tree Tech Octopus, I have 24 volt power and ground here that I'm going to attach to the um, screw, ter screw down terminals on the UTC um, so that it gets 24 volt power to feed into the rest of the CAN bus network and drive the CAN bus tool head at 24, 24 volts. So I'm going to pause this video here. Uh, I'm going to thank you again for watching. Tune into part three, where we'll actually get to um, flashing the SB2240 uh, from Big Tree Tech.